One very weird thing that I have sort of learned while developing a Vault Hunters that is weird to me, but now if I look back or if I look at all the information that I've got as I've developed this game, is that there are a lot of people in this world that really don't like RNG. RNG as in ra random, <laughs> random, random, random number generation. And I... I thought I'd talk a little bit about that, because to me, randomness in games in general is great. I mean, sure, you know, to, to an extent, you, you want to be able to control it and these sort of things, but it's a, it, it makes the game replayable. It makes To me, it makes the game more deep in a way where, like, you don't run out of um, content for the game as quickly because, well, simply the first time you play the game versus the second time you play the game isn't going to be the same. And and it's also something that has been used by a lot of games, a lot of like RPG games, a lot of uh, big, big games such as Diablo, the Diablo franchise, the Path of Exile, uh, you know, World of Warcraft, all of these big ARPG or MMOs, they all use quite a lot of RNG in order to you know, make the experience different, etc., etc. And so when when I came into the starting development of Vault Hunters, I was very excited about RNG because personally, as I say, it is one of my favorite things, right? I I love I love the RNG. It's not people get mistake this. People are like, okay, well, Iskal, you gotta seek uh, you gotta seek solutions for your uh, for your gambling addiction. Look, I do not gamble. Uh, when it comes to like a real stake to me to me real or to me gambling is real stakes like you put money in and you spin a wheel or you press a button or whatever and you know maybe you win the money back maybe you win more or maybe you lose it all um i don't gamble i i've i've never really bought like lottery tickets uh, i've never been to a casino i think i've been to a casino once actually i've been to a casino once with my old job but I don't think I gamble. I think it was more of a social thing. Like, I, I tagged along, you know? <laughs> like an idiot. Hello! How does this work, then? <laughs> that type of thing. But I'm I'm actually um, opposite of what people think. I'm quite against gambling when it comes to real stakes. Which is maybe why I really like the idea of quote-unquote gambling in a video game. Because to me, like, you know, it's a video game, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, you're just having fun. But that brings it back to the beginning. Like, I've learned that not everyone thinks it's fun to, to, to gamble stats in a video game. Which is, by the way, what I gotta do today. Uh, it's still my holiday break. Uh, so this is not an episode. This is just a, a little monologue, I suppose, with myself. I don't, I don't know how to do these. Hello. Um, but yeah, I, I need I need to make some new gear. My gear is absolutely terrible. And I've hit some new armor tiers. And uh, my sword is... I mean, I love, I love this old bamboo stick that has turned into an aluminium blade. Aluminium blade? Aluminium? No. Allium, the flower blade. Anyway. Um, but I think i got to craft some swords. I don't think I have any level 65 swords. But to my point here is... Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, I have this sword. Is this level 65? Is level 64? Uh, let me check the web page. Is level 64... Is there a difference in... No. 64 and 65 has the same, like, outcome. That's good. Okay, so this sword... Oh, but I've already ruined this one. <laughs> it's got minus 23 crafting potential. This is so expensive to do anything with. I uh, don't have one of the focuses that you can use to make it better either. Okay, let's just, uh, I suppose I craft some swords and become a little bit of a uh, sword craft smither. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk about the aspect of, R uh, of RNG and about the gear system in Vault Hunters. Because it has received uh, quite a bit of criticism over the years. Like, don't forget, we've been developing this, year, uh, this game for a very considerable time. Like, three years, I think. Something like that. And... You know, of course, when you develop a game, I think it is unrealistic to say that everyone should like the game. And one thing that I've learned is I come from a background of, like, loving these types of games, right? I, I love the action RPG genre in general. And I just, you know, I, I think that's really fun. 
And to bring that into Minecraft was like a vision that was exciting to me because Minecraft is such a good game and obviously I love Minecraft. But I, I had this vision of like, okay, I can make this game, Minecraft, I can make it be more. I can make it have, like, I, I people also, you know, continuously say that Voltans is just modded Minecraft and it has turned into modded Minecraft. But to me, that's just like, that's just like a side feature, if that makes sense. Oh, I should grab the, the things from there. Yeah, that's just a side feature. I am more into like the the Vault Hunter systems, running vaults, doing all of the the vault related things, uh, gear crafting, all of this. I think that that is more fun than the mods themselves. But anyway, I'm, I'm as I always am, I'm getting sidetracked. What was I saying? Yeah, I was very excited to bring this um, genre, if you will, into uh, Minecraft. I'm out of chromatic iron? Oh, because I gave it all away. Yeah, that's a problem. How much steel do I have? Uh, chromatic... None. <laughs> well then, I don't think I can craft much gear here. And that is one of the things that I need to be able to do. Maybe I take my hammer. Maybe I take my hammer and I go get some. Oh, Etho joined. Actually. Maybe we just run a vault with my garbage gear and hope to get more gear. That could be a thing. But anyway, let me finish the um, the little uh, talk about RNG. I feel like I've learned that. I think I think this is true. And and please do let me know below in the comments. This is kind of like a mar market research and development question, I suppose. Um, what what are you guys' thoughts and feelings around RNG in general? Uh, because what I feel like I've learned is that I think I think it comes down to the Minecraft audience. People that play Minecraft aren't necessarily people like me that also really enjoy the action RPG RPG genre. I, and, and and of course there is a crossover, and you know there is a good chance if you are watching this video, you're probably into Vault Hunters. You probably like it, right? So you probably you know. I, I do wanna I do like this stuff. But it could be interesting to hear your thoughts before you ever saw Vault Hunters. Maybe you've never played any of these games. Maybe you've never played Diablo or Path of Exile or any of these games. Um so please do let me know down below in the comments what you think. Because to me, as I say, RNG is such a heavy part that makes these games good. And I'm not saying that our gear crafting system is perfect. In fact, I have several ideas, as always. <laughs> For how to improve it and some of them requires like almost a complete overhaul i really think the tool system that we did with jewels etc where you build your own tools we can take a lot of learning from that people do like that in general i think at least and so i mean there is a space where where we do something similar for gear right where you know you build your own um your own thing from scratch it has problems as well don't get me wrong, it definitely has problems, that system. It's a lot of jewels to sort through. Um, and it's very hard to balance. But I always say to my development team, and I think this is a very good standard to go by, if balance is the reason we shouldn't do something, then we're just being lazy. Does that make sense? So like, if, if we come to the conclusion that, no, we shouldn't explore this because it's going to be a nightmare to balance, we're going to get it wrong, people are going to be upset, then I think from my perspective that that is just us being lazy. Absolutely, we should explore it. And I keep pushing these things on my team. I keep saying, like, look, we, 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 we're going to explore it because if we don't, we don't know where we could have been. It's, it's about taking a little bit of risks, maybe maybe upsetting a few people, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think I think that's correct. Uh, but yeah, do let me know down below what type of person you are, and and if you're interested in my thoughts about, like, my hypothetical thoughts about what we could do with the gear system, then maybe I'll post a video just talking about that as well, because it is something that I feel is interesting. Oh, actually, um, hello? Hello. Hello, sir. Would you like to, uh, would you like to vault us? You had to go over to me. I was. We, we we arrived here at the exact same time. Right that now. is that is okay. That's great. I love that. I absolutely <laughs> love that. And the funny thing is that I went into the wrong one. I was gonna go into my mine. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. 
So, but I mean, I like it. I like it. I have had a little monologue. Okay, I'm recording a little video, not mm-hmm. not not a not a polished, edited, fancy video that takes three days because I am on my holiday. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I wanted. My to name talk- is Iskel, and I am I am playing Vault Hunters today because I want to play Vault Hunters. Today, exactly. As everyone should play Vault Hunters today. Yeah, I one, one I, of those kind of monologues. Well, I, I I talked a little bit. I I, I actually like. I will continue this talk to you. Uh, but but before you say that, I've realized, I've come to the realization, like yesterday, that I didn't ever need time off playing video games. <laughs> of course not. I love this. I just needed time off being the creative creator, which goes like, you know, hello, cut, sit in the sofa. Today we're going to talk, today we're going to, you know, that sort of thing. I needed a time off from that. I just needed to be, like, chilled. You know what That's I mean? That's right. Yeah. So I'm I'm not taking time off video games. Mm. How are you, Ito? Are you good? Uh, I'm great, yeah. I just got myself a coffee. Oh, I just took a zip when I asked you how I was. Mm. We are so in sync today, man. We're so zen. Okay, this is the break. Our it. outfits are a little different, but other that's, than that. That's fine. This is the break it question. Yeah, I'm Tenos and you're Valkyrie or whatever. Valkyrie, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, uh, is it snowing where you're at? No, it's actually shockingly warm in Canada. Oh, dang it. It's a snowstorm here today. Yeah, I think I think Europe got the cold weather this year, and uh, this side of the pond is is pretty sweet, actually. I've actually been an adult today, and I've gone outside and I plowed snow. <laughs> so, oh, fun. <laughs> it's not fun, but it's good exercise, <clears throat> though. Um, let's head to my... We should do a group so we can move. Yeah. I gotta make you jealous, Iskel. Okay. You recording for this? You gotta see this. Yeah, hold on. Join my group first, then. Join my group. Okay. I am recording, yes. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We gotta go to my base. Okay, we're going to your house. Something has changed at my place. See if you can figure it out. Besides the chickens. It's not the chickens. It's not the chickens. Okay, you got your spawners. Uh, did you raise them up so that... No, you still haven't done that. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's in this room over here. Something has changed. I mean, I was here a few days ago. Uh, yeah. Just oh, one block. Oh, one block is different. Is it not the fact that you're using... Ha- oh, these are pack souls. No, okay. no hammers. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get... Oh, you, you didn't. <laughs> How many have you uh-huh. done? How many have you done? That's... Some of us are hunters, Iskel. Some of us are treasure hunters. That's right. <laughs> I can't believe that. I think, honestly, I th- oh, and you've got alter automation going on here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have to do anything anymore. I just, I just play the game now. Dude, I think, honestly, I ha- I'd have to look this up, but I think this is the rarest item in the game. You said 1 in 100, right? Yes, but uh, I say rarest in the game, considering... The amount of chances you get to open a treasure chest versus mm. you know there are items in an ornate chest that is one in 140 but you open a lot of ornate chests you know what i mean right like trinkets are probably pretty rare yes they are pretty i think they are <clears throat> somewhere there what i just said that's and mm. and, and trinkets are affected by uh, item rarity treasure chests are not i want to see how many of these i can get before the the series is over that's crazy. That I mean, it's congratulations. Coming. What level are you now? Seventy. Okay. Seventy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow! Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. I am. Uh, yeah, I'm impressed. And and this brings me to the monologue that I was having because I was talking about. Well, I was talking about gear, but deeper. So I was talking because I need new gear. <laughs> I'm about to run a vault with you with my garbage gear once again. Let's go. Um, <laughs> I was talking about like gear crafting and RNG. I just gotta go home and, and repair my stuff. Uh, and I'll, I'll come with. one thing that I've learned in developing this, which was news to me, and I don't know how you feel about this, because I've always been an avid fan of dungeon crawlers and action RPGs, you know, Path of Exile, Diablo, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, all of these games. I, I love itemization, I love the RNG of building your character. To me, it's like solving a puzzle. Your character is the puzzle. Um, mm-hmm. With skills and abilities, and I love that. And and so I went into Vault Hunters three years ago now, and from the beginning it was way more RNG heavy than it is now. But it's still, 
is still a lot of RNG involved in the game today. And so what I've learned is that a lot of people don't like RNG. Like straight up just don't like it. They think it's bad. I think if you're playing for a long time, you want RNG, but if it's like more of a casual experience, you don't appreciate it as much. That may be it, yeah. If that makes sense. It does. I mean, yeah, my argument has always been that like RNG is the easiest way to create diversity in a game or in gameplay. Like it's not going to be the same the first time you play it as the second time you play it. Like I'll, I'll give you an example. Like originally when I was rolling my gear, it's like, oh, I'm getting armor and health like every time. That's what I want. That's great. You know, mm -hmm. now I'm kind of wishing I, I wish there was some modifiers that were kind of rare, you know, that you you're excited to see, you know, that are. Yeah, I mean, there are a few still that are rare, like skill points. The skill ones, yeah. Yeah, um, but but we did actually dial that back heavily. Like, it wasn't like that from the beginning. It was exactly like you just explained. Like, for example, mana regen, mana percentage, those were very rare to pull. Um, yeah, that re seems like a good skill in general. But people hated it. <laughs> <laughs> People, and, and I'm not just talking like, you know, the um, commenters and the casuals. I'm talking like like people like H-Bomb or Barry that played the game every single day. They hated that there was differences there. Hmm. Yep. So we I guess it, it turns into a chore, though, like if your gear breaks. Yeah, that's the, that's the other thing. I think you can have heavier of that if you, um, if you have the gear not breaking. So like level 100 gear, if it doesn't break in the future could be heavier towards swingy with the RNG. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's funny that you say, because like, that's more, more towards my vision of things. Like, I like the thing called chase items in, in, item, in, in exactly, games. Yeah. I love chase items. And the only chase items we have are legendaries, uh, where you want to get an Omega with a correct legendary modifier. Right. Um, but we're getting unique gear. In the in the not the next update. Treasure the, keys kind of after. feel a little bit like a chase item too. Yeah, they're a bit of a chase. A little item. bit. They're fairly common now too. Oh, should I bring my treasure key that I got in the bounty I did the other day? I should. Oh, and then I go into my bounty table and I have killed dweller mobs forty seven for a treasure key. <laughs> Are you serious? That's like two in a row, man. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that is two in a row. I'm not cheating. You're cheating. I'm not cheating. What? Are you taking everybody's bounty pearls on the server and like just rolling a thousand times? <laughs> is, is that what's going on? Do I have to check my table this, Gil? I, I didn't even need to roll this one, but you're not completely wrong. I have gone to other tables and rolled without thinking about it. I have done that in the past. Um, let me get another bounty going. Are you ready to like go? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Do you want to do something special? Do you want to like chaos it? Do you want to run a scab? What do you want to do? Uh, my quest right now is for a scab. Okay, so we do a scab. I need seven cracked pearls, and then I get another chaos catalyst. Oh, see, that's your RNG, though. You get you get that. Yeah. I and used to get a lot of keys, too, but not lately. Let's see. I have to oh, craft them all. Once I started crafting them, it's like, okay, you know what you're doing. You don't need them anymore. What do you mean? Oh, uh, you don't need them as a quest reward? Like, I used to get them in the bounty table all the time. I don't even think I, I got hooked on them and I started crafting them and then it stopped giving them to me once I started crafting them. Yeah, so you got sucked in. <laughs> yeah. You gotta love that. Hold on, let me make a scav thing. But I, I want to I wanna wrap this uh, discussion about RNG and, like, the gear. Because I do think that there are points that we can make to make the gear system better. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I really like the jewel and tool system. And we could do something similar for gear. It would just be a nightmare to balance. Um, to begin with, but you, I don't know if, I think I might've mentioned this and you didn't like it at first, but like the, a super rare focus that will give you a legendary modifier. Randomly. Yeah. It's not that Which, I don't like It chooses that. the one in six if you got an Omega gear, right? Yeah. It's not that I don't like that. It was that Hellfire, who's the original designer of the gear system, hated that, but he is no but you make it a rare anything. item. Like, if, yeah, if you yeah. have stuff rare enough, you can do fun stuff like that, right? Yeah, I mean, it can be a treasure room item, you know? It can be a level 100 item. We can make it rare. 
Uh, then, of course, the RNG people that don't like RNG, they're going to hate that even more because they will never get it. And so, the, I, I mean, I think you're right in like the casual gamer. The, is the expression gamer dad? The, the person who doesn't play much but and loves the gaming session. I mean, yeah, I get why they don't like the heavy RNG. Another item that I think would help gear crafting is the locking of a modifier. So like, uh, uh, it's a ra it's it's also a rare item and it's a random modifier, but you lock one modifier on your gear. Yeah, that would be good. So you can you know you can make sure to have one, only one modifier on your gear and then apply the focus and now you've locked that modifier. Yeah. But again, it relies on a lot of RNG, and I think I won't I won't solve these people's uh, concern until I oh. I don't have a don't have my mana orb trinket. One thing I will say about RNG though, like the more you swing with it, the more the extremes are, right? Where yeah. the competent players are gonna go to the higher extreme. Yep. And the casuals are probably gonna be on the lower extreme, right? Right. And I see I don't mind mm -hmm. that. I like that because to me that is a chase. The min maxing. Like I, I've always said that Vault Hunter should be designed and is designed for people for anyone to play. But if you want to maximize it, there should be depth in it. And that I I really think we have that, even without the end game implementation yet that is yet to come in, in an in another update. Uh yeah. That but as a develop as yeah. a developer, you got to be careful, though, because once you get those bigger swings, you might see the higher-end player and think, well, we got to make this game a little harder, right? Because they're now using more mm. incredible gear and stuff. I and then you leave the, the casuals behind. I don't think you're wrong, but I think that I've gone through that learning lesson already in the past three years. Because I think right. that's exactly what happened with Vault Hunters 2 and 1. Like, we, they, they go way too hard. And then we yeah. kind of chucked it all out. We kind of took our learnings and said, right, we like the challenge for, for the hardcore players, but this game is no longer, like, accessible. And so we did the ghost. Like, the this game was always only hardcore. You could do nothing else. But like, you couldn't play any other mode than hardcore. Called right. Hardcore. There was no ghosts and nothing. Uh, there was locked vaults. You know, every I think every five vaults was locked and stuff like that. Um. And now I think we're at the other side where, you know, the next update is going to have changes to Cake Vault. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's exciting. <laughs> but it's also going to have the uh, the Soul Flame rework, which is going to be super, like, to, for you and me, I feel like that is going to be a thing that we do a lot, Soul Flame. Right. Um, which is the, the stacking, like, the vault gets better and better every time you complete it. But if you fail it, well, <laughs> you lose your Soul Flame. You lose your stacks. I actually don't know what they do or currently do they do anything yeah currently they are just like a casual thing they you add them to get uh to get beginner's grace basically to the vault um oh okay it's like a catch-up mechanic but we don't need that anymore with all the other things that we've implemented so i don't think they're widely used although i don't know that that may be a wrong a wrong thing um yeah you gotta go in first by the way i'm not i'm not gonna go in mm -hmm. But I do think we got another treasure vault. Didn't we have a treasure vault the last one we had? I don't know. I don't, know. <clears throat> I don't think we got anything last time. Yeah, we had a treasure vault. I was. I just, dude. Even in this video, there's a ding sound from my render completing, and that was the render of that video. Um. So yeah, no, we we did get a treasure vault. Oh okay. But as I say, I think I think itemization is very important in games like this, and I think there are definitely things that we can do better and 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 expand upon. Uh, I also really dislike the weapons. Like I think that first of all, I would just remove access. If it was up to me, I would just delete access. They're useless. They're 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 not fun. Um, they're just weird to balance things around. And and then I would. Um, I I feel like if they did a cleave attack. Or something. They used to have that. And then they were just the only weapon you used. Hmm. Um, now they have higher attack damage. So now they become like a javelin wand. For javelin users. <laughs> you switch to the axe. And then you throw your javelin. Right. And switch back. People write macros and stuff for it. Um, oh, I, th I think they should go away. We have two offhands that I want to implement. A dagger. Which is going to be an active offhand. That you can execute mobs with. Um... And something else. South facing. 
What do we have here, Ethan? What do we have? Focus on the vault, Eskal. I, somehow you always get the easier one. I don't know how you do it, Eskal, but uh, it's definitely... Well, yours is easier than mine, surely. I got bangles. You got cracked. I got five yeah. teeth. You got three. The only you got the the freebie purple. <laughs> you got the freebie. Oh, I got green. the freebie green. I guess the uh, only okay. slight difficult one. I mean, this is an easy scab. The only slight difficult one I think is the zombie arms. Yeah, actually, it's pretty balanced. I would say yours is a little bit easier. But yeah. <laughs> oh, you think so? <laughs> We'll see who gets theirs done first. Then why oh, don't we... oh, we race it, you say? Yeah, and if you're when you finish first, you're you're gonna be wrong. How how about that? But dude, I am so slow in killing mobs. Didn't I tell you my gear is garbage? Oh, and oh, I need to look true. for I need to look for a treasure treasure room. Challenging zombie dungeon. Oh, they hurt. You going in? Yeah, they hurt though. It's a gilded. Ooh. Oh, I need scroll. Yeah. Typical, isn't it? Only your thing is needed. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my, my conclusion of this monologue that turned into a discussion with you, thank you for that, by the way, is that mm. I really like RNG, and I've learned over the past three years that not everyone likes RNG, and to me that was a shock in the beginning, but I think... I think you have hit the nail there with, like, more casual gamers do not appreciate it as much as people who are planning to play for a longer time, which I have always seen Minecrafters as people that play for a long time, right? Because, you know, you start yeah. the world and, and stuff. Um, yeah, I would try to design it for a long time, play. Yep. I mean... <laughs> I always pictured, like, Voltatus was always like this. Okay, if you can't play it for at least a year before you finish it, it's not a good game. And now it's not like that anymore. Now it's like, okay, well, you should be able to rush the game. You should be able to rush the content and stuff like that. And uh, I think we're at a good place with it, if I'm honest. Yeah, and generally with, like, challenges, you want extremely challenging things to be opt-in, right? Not, yeah. Uh, not forced on the player. Yep. Yeah. Hence the new uh, Soul Flame, which is going to make That's every right. vault more difficult. And it's a lot Maybe of more difficult, more rewarding, but it's your choice. You it's know? your choice, yeah. And you know, it requires a resource to do it, which is also great, because then it uh, drives your desire to get resources in the game. Yep. This is so bad. This is bad. I'm dead. No? Yeah, I think I'm dead. I'm cornered. Oh, did he freeze? Bruh. Do, do, do I got to rescue you? I'm coming to rescue you. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't rescue me. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I was halfway there, though. <laughs> I'm good. I just, I'm not used to not using the uh, orb, my trinkets that broke. <laughs> so I don't you have still the in dungeon? Steel. I'm good, though. I'm good. I just cleared it. Okay. Thank you, good, though, Ethan. Good job. So I cast Blizzard, uh, which freezes mobs, and it didn't freeze the, the champion. It froze everyone else. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and that wasn't even the main champion. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a double? Yep. This guy. Careful, this girl. Yeah, I do so little damage, it's silly. I got this though, it's just zombies. Yay! Nicely done. Thank you, sir. Um... I think the one thing with gear that can be frustrating for people is the... <laughs> okay, another thing I've learned that is connected here is that people are... Uh, when there is uh, a min-max thing in games, mm -hmm. I see it as an opt-in. Like, I, Vault Hunters is clearly designed with all the difficult levels and all that to... You don't have to maximize your gear. I mean, look at me. I'm running with a with a level 40, although a legendary sword, but it's still a level 40 sword. I'm running with, like, level 50 gear on a level 65 volts. And I'm not as efficient, but I'm not, like... You know, I'm not unable to do it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and that's by design. Like, if you maximize your gear, what should happen is that you should get better and, and to the point where you can get OP. Like, I love the idea of being OP. Because then it's a chase to be like, oh... I'm, I'm absolutely owning this. We have one guy on the server who keeps saying, like, oh, you should see my dungeon clear. Like, it's so good. Like, I feel so <laughs> great when I go in. And, they, you know... They feel like regular mobs to me. It's, it's kind of crazy. 
But I mean, that's kind of cool though. Like you've you've achieved that through you know puzzling, solving the puzzle. That is your character that I spoke about there. Yeah, yeah. Um. So anyway, like I, uh, the problem is that there are a lot of people that feel bad. It's a feel bad if they can't maximize or if they don't get to maximize. So there's a lot of emotions to like think about when you develop these things that I've learned as well over the years. It's mm -hmm. it's super interesting to me. Did you bring a bunch of mobs into my room when you came for the... I mean, I walked halfway to you, so it might have kept going. They did, yeah. They just came from the tunnel. They were like, hello. How are we? <laughs> You'll take care of those for me, right? Thank you. Yeah. Not that it takes five hits to kill a single skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but your gear is good, right? Like you said. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I, said, I said that my gear is garbage. <laughs> oh, I see what it's you did. It's good enough. Though. It's good enough, right? It's good enough. Yeah, it's just not very speedy. And then on the end screen, it's embarrassing to look at 97 chests looted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's fine. Oh, normal piglin dungeon. I think I'm going in this one. Is it coins? I haven't checked yet. Yeah, it's coins. I seem to always get coins in piglins for some reason. Is that like a... Nope. A thing? Nope. It's just that placebo. Interesting. I mean, I'm not saying Ooh, you're wrong, I'm like... just saying it's not. Yeah. Well, I've got a zombie brain, now that we don't need brains, nice. and a creeper eye. We don't need that either. Nope. But good job. Thank you. I think it's a good soul value, right? Even though I haven't yeah, even cleared true. my first room yet, this is embarrassing. So do you full clear when you when you play, or what do you do? Uh, no, I, I, it, it varies, right? It varies a lot. Right now, I'm full clearing this room because I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not actually paying that much attention. I think this bothers some people when they watch me, specifically on live streams. Like, I, I like to talk and hang out. I don't really pay that much attention on what I loot until I'm, like, in a situation where it's like, okay, I need to find more trinkets. Then I will, right. you know, go for it. Did I... Oh, I didn't unspec my hunter. <sighs> That's usually what I like to do, too. Just go casual at first, and then as you run out of time, then you start to, uh, you know, panic Focus a little bit. bit. Yeah. yeah. But I really enjoy... I've said this <laughs> You before. say focus, I say panic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, each to their own, Ethel. Yeah. Um, I really, as I've said before, I really enjoy the P uh, PVE aspect of Vault Hunters. I think it's so satisfying to kill mobs. Mm -hmm. And I should really just have like a soul, soul chance build and just rely on the black market. Um, that would probably benefit my playstyle. Yeah, that, that seems fun. Like, I want to make a character like that. Max max soul value yeah. on the gear and stuff. Because I had, like a, like, a halfway character on that, and man, it was insane. It's... The numbers are high. Like, you can, you can yeah, increase you it can, a lot. And then if you get, like, the goddess buff, and, like, if you get a vault buff, like, when you enter and stuff, and there's the trinkets, and... Oh, man, it's... Yeah. It gets really fun. Yeah, you can get a lot. I think that on the Vault Hunter Discord community, there are a lot of people like uh, um, flexing with their soul soul finds, and um, yeah, no, it's a great fun way to play the game. I uh, on the Vault Hunter SMP Season Three on Endgame, I I was I started making one, when the, but the rule was to only have um, only have legendary roles, and I think I had mm. three or. Yeah, I had a sword. I think I had three out of five. So I didn't have... Well, I was missing, like, two parts. For all to be legendary max rolls. Oh, yeah, if you go for legendary on it, too, that would be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was. I think I was looking at a thousand percent soul, char soul chance. Which is a lot. Without the trinket. <laughs> Without the trinket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two thousand with the trinket. Yeah, but then it is also satisfying to just run into a PY uh, and just like vein mine fifty wooden chests. Yeah. 
I think it's great though. It's great that there is diversity in how people want to play the game. It's important. By the way, I'm pretty much done here. <laughs> yeah, you had an easy one, didn't you? <laughs> it was kind of easy, yeah. I mean, I've actually got a healthy amount of living chests, but I haven't got my things. I got everything about. except the, the ores. I haven't found ores yet. Easy. Uh, I've got... Yeah, I mean, I've only found gilded chests. <laughs> That's it. Uh, was it south facing? Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh oh, leg, leg. What do I need here? I need two zombie arms. I got my crack scripts. I got. I need one more bone shards, and I need one more purple. Yeah. I mean, I said it, didn't I? I said this is an easy scab. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly. Why am I on fire? Oh, it's the shrimp mobs. They're troll. But hey, I got another zombie brain. <laughs> Why do the, the mantis strip light you on fire, actually? I'm curious about that. I My answer is really boring. <laughs> it seems like an interesting choice, though. Yeah, and my, my answer is so boring. It's not our choice. It's a mob from another mob that we thought looked cool. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, we need more unique vault mobs still. Like I like that, though. Like a mob that lights you on fire. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, we used to have actually more of these uh, poisonous mobs and, and things like that. Uh, void Just mobs. don't put it in a desert. <laughs> Whatever you do. <laughs> what do you mean? Like the, the one theme without uh, any water, you know? Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, we should put it there. No, 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 no. That's just mean. There and the nether. <laughs> have you noticed, though, when you're on fire that in Vault Hunters that is not as obstructive as in vanilla Minecraft? Oh, no, I haven't really. And when you're poisoned, you don't have the annoying hurt. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah. tick. Instead, your screen is green. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So when we implemented that, okay, I, you just, I, I loved uh, discussing developing things with you because it feels what, like we're vibing pretty close and you have some really good ideas. By the way, people don't know this. Me and Ethan have discussed something. He has designed an objective that we are going to implement. The dev team liked it, Ito. I'm not gonna say more. Oh, really? That, but yeah, the 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 way you the way you designed that thing with the keys and uh -huh. stuff. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> People are gonna be bad. Okay. Well, you were doing something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. But we're 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 going back to the original where my idea goes to the greed vaults and then that becomes a normal objective. Oh, okay. Cool. We're gonna call it the slab. Oh. No, I'm, I'm kidding. We're not gonna call it the slab. Oh. You will, however, I, I have yet to ask you because I, I actually I haven't dared to ask you, so I'm going to ask you live where, yeah, you know, you can't get sad. <laughs> no pressure. Okay. Uh, everyone on this server, including you, are going to, if you want to, design a unique item. Oh. So any item and pretty much any affixes. Um... And then and then describe how it how you want it to look, and then that's it. There you go. Unique item, like it has a fixed role on it. Yeah, uh, n not not the range, but fixed affixes. So, and, oh, okay. and that doesn't follow doesn't follow the the legality of items. So you can say, I want a chest plate with movement speed and no right. armor. Oh, okay, okay, like fun stuff. Fun stuff. Yep. Yeah, uh, the the uh, I'll say it like this because I know you're you're you'll understand. The slogan, if you will, for unique items is never best in slot, but best niche in slot. Mhm. Mm That's like the rule. The rule we have for them. So it does something crazy, and then you design your your gear around it. The, yep. The rest of the gear. Yeah. Yep. And they will be, the roll range will ex, uh, respect the level, and you can find them from level 20 upwards. So, you know, you can find level 20 Ethos slab, and it's like a hat, on level 20, and it's, you know, the roll ranges are relevant for level 20, but then garbage later game. But you can also find them on level 100. Yeah, we have already built the system, we just need the items and the models. 
There that sounds go. like the hard part too, though. <laughs> That's gonna take a yeah. bit of time. Yeah. We have. I, I. I have a list of like twenty items that I've made, but I thought I'd ask. You gotta be careful with that too, because if you make like a really powerful one, and then you want to remove it later, it's gonna upset people. Yeah. Yeah. But there's actually another thing that I said earlier in my monologue. I say, uh, um, sometimes when we come up with something, my developer team will say, you know, we shouldn't do this. This is going to be a nightmare to balance, or this is going to be awful to balance. And I think that's kind of lazy. Like, if we ever stop development of something because of balance, so not because we think it's bad or good or can be good, but because we are worried about, like, upsetting people or the balance being bad or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, it's a it's a hill I'm willing to die on to say you know what we're gonna we're at least gonna try we're at least gonna work on the balance because otherwise right you limit yourself with so many things so because a lot of things are hard to balance and are wrong when they are implemented charms is a good example they need a bit of work there's too many of them this I can't handle too many of, too many of them without recycling uh, like they're a bit boring uh, it's not very satisfying so yeah expect them to get changed and, and but i think that's cool like i think that's in a way at least from my perspective it's yeah it's it's fun you can do fun things with that too though like with that uh, special um what are they called the Card. special vaults you run with them yeah the, the the divine paradox yeah the divine paradox like you could add for example like a special room where you can repair your gear one more extra time than you normally could Ooh. using the dust from the charms you've broken down, for example. You do stuff like that. Mm. And then it has an, uh, a system that's not anywhere else in the game, you know? Yeah, like a forge That people room. like still. I mean, that's a good... That's a really good idea because uh, we have this idea written down on the worksheet for the forge which is supposedly a room that has these unique roles for gear. Like you said, you know, if we ever implement like a legendary focus, that would be the room where you ha where you do it. You have to go to like the Hellforge or whatever mm -hmm. instead of using your Archon Station. Uh, the, the, the problem I had with that up until you now talking about this was the predictability of it. Like, okay, so are you going to enter every vault with all your gear that you potentially want to roll? Like that becomes a little bit of a chore. And also very risky and expensive if you die. <laughs> um, but if you have it as a room that you can select in the well, Divine Paradox, then yeah, that's interesting. Again, you bounce it around how much of the currency you get from breaking down the charms, right? Okay, so it's not about finding the room. It's I'm both, right? You get excited finding the room, but you also get you also require the currency to do it. So you can't just keep doing it. You're limited on the currency. Yeah. Right? Yeah. True. Otherwise, it gets crazy. Because <laughs> it's a daily thing. Yeah. 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 Like it. It should yeah. be a thing that makes people like want to visit that special place, right? Right. And you need special things to make them want to do that. I like that because I, I, I dislike the idea of having heavy focus on like the RNG of finding a room. Uh, but I like the idea of you getting it as a choice, crafting it, and it's expensive to craft in the first place. Oh, it's very good. Very good. Yeah, as I say, it's such a new baby feature that a lot of these things are probably going to come suggested and, and be implemented. Don't get me wrong, the Divine Paradox is amazing already. Like, it's really strong. Uh, yeah. But um, <clears throat> adding unique features to things, objectives, loot, reward is always cool. In yeah. my opinion. That could also be a place where you experiment with ideas. And just test them out there. Mm -hmm. Like... I, like, I don't know if you know this, but, like, PoE has a tower defense game built in. <laughs> you a could tower defense game? You could make a special room that's a tower defense. <laughs> you know, you do stuff like that. But that we could do a... with architect crystals. If it's just, like, one room. You craft the inscription. Architect crystals. Yeah, the blue crystals. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, rooms. that would work, too, there. 
And I keep finding living stuff, dude. Uh, not living, gilded. Need living. And I want we, got? we got a little bit of time still. Yeah, cool. I'm not worried about the time. I just, I, I just wish I hadn't messed up my hunter so that I could drink a hunt here. Because as you said, some of us are treasure hunters and some are hunters. And I haven't seen a single treasure door. Well, I've seen one, but it was the wrong one. Which TP did you bring in? Sparkle Boy. Ah. The yellow one. The bright yellow one. I saw a really funny... Uh, the, it, it's Since this talk, since this stream, or since this hangout session is about... Um, talking about what people feel in ba like balance... I saw a very funny, uh, like, like you get a lot of, uh, you get, you learn so much about people and, and like emotions around the game when you, when you do this game, or when I develop this game. Mm -hmm. And, um, there was one complaint recently, which I would never expect. And I agree with the complaint, but it's also like, it's so minuscule. Is that the right word? That mm -hmm. it doesn't. Tiny. Yeah, it's so tiny that it, I, I never would have thought that someone would have actually brought this up as a highlighted big issue for the game. And that is that we have three green ish doors, treasure doors. But yes! Two. Yes, I hate that <laughs> so much. I, I think that everyone dislikes it. I think that everyone is like annoyed <laughs> by that. Um, I feel like it's a troll, honestly. Yeah, it's almost like a little troll. I mean, if you're good enough, right? It's a skill issue. Because if you're good enough, you can tell the difference. <laughs> I had to say that. But but it's a skill issue that doesn't need to exist. It doesn't actually feed anything other than this funny discussion. Yeah. But this no, person... That, that has bothered me a lot as well, I gotta say. This person brought it up as a game-quitting reason. <laughs> like, I will not play this game more because of this bad thing. And that was interesting. To well, me. when you when you hold the green key up to the green door and it doesn't open, it's uh, I actually got confused by that many times. It's like maybe I don't know how these actually work, you know? Yeah. Um, no, it's just a slightly different color. And as I say, like I I, I think this is correct. I I don't think that criticism is wrong. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I agree. I agree. In the best of worlds, we would not have three green doors, and it all stems from the fact that the treasure keys and the unique gems were or is uh, a homage to the original streamers and beta testers of the game um right so and they chose their colors without knowing you know other people's colors <laughs> right um and and green just happened to be the best color in the world i mean i think we can all agree so yeah you went for the green too didn't you Hey, my door was there before Pizza Night and Tabium, so uh -huh. you know, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> what what color would you choose, Ito, if you got to choose a treasure Green. door? <laughs> see, see, this is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem I'm having. <laughs> That's yes. interesting though, because like blue is like the universally loved color. Really? Seventy like percent. Seventy percent of people like blue, apparently. I did not know. I I don't like I don't like navy blue. I like teal. Like sky blue, people love sky blue. Mm, I'm not a, the biggest fan of it. What? Okay, you're weird. Okay. I mean, okay, look at this vault. Maybe I have the wrong definition of sky vault. I do love the gelatin blue in the in the walls here. Uh, when I say sky blue, I don't mean your winter Swedish snowy no, white that's, sky that's you white. have right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean the light blue, you know. Look at the walls. Like, are we are we talking about the same color? Is because I like that blue that's in the walls here, the gelatin block. Yeah, there's the darker blue and there's the lighter blue. It's the lighter blue is the, the mm -hmm. color people like. But it's because it has green in it. The the like, yeah. It's just green. Okay, again. interesting. Interesting. Okay, I think I call it in Swedish. I think we call it baby blue. I don't think the baby blue is a great color. It's not bad, but I don't that's, think it's that's bad. really bright. Yeah, blue. Is, yeah, that's what I. Think I that's that's okay, so, too bright, I think. Okay, so that's not sky blue. Then, then I, then I probably like sky blue because it's the more yeah, greenish yeah. tint. Like this. Do you like prismarine? I, I like prismarine, but that's got green in it for sure. Yeah, yeah, I like prismarine blue too because of the green tints. <laughs> anyway, I interrupted you. Did you? 
<laughs> I don't think you did. Uh, okay. But yeah, that's the that's the reason we have three green doors. And so, I mean, in the best of worlds, we'll change it. It's just awkward to go back to Tabo like, yo, bro, how are you doing those things? Uh, and he goes like, daddy, because he calls me his dad. And then I go like, bro, listen, son, we have to change the color of your door. <laughs> <laughs> You have to pick your second color. Second but you favorites. promised, Daddy. Yeah, that would be his response, probably. Uh, man. <sighs> Pete would probably be like, All right, whatever, man. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever, man. Make it red. <laughs> Off brand completely. Have you ever heard Pizza Hut speak? No, I, I've never seen him, actually. He's got a very deep voice. I don't, I don't really know who it is. It's a... It's a streamer. Very good at Minecraft. Speedrunner. MCC okay. champion several times. Good friend. Uh. Anyway. Pro gamer type. He's, uh, yeah, he's very good at Minecraft. Uh, I don't know if he plays any other games, but he's very good at Minecraft. Very, uh, he's, ni he's a nice person as well. Like, he, he, he yeah. likes to push himself, but he's not the person who... Because there are, okay, I mean, this is controversial maybe, but I, I'm i not a big fan when people get too elitists. I I really need inclusiveness in this community in general. You know, I value that. Mm -hmm. So when I say pro gamer type, like, Pete is not the type that is, like, elitist. PUE has a lot of elitist player people. <laughs> yes. And the game itself is a bit elitist, <laughs> if we're honest. It's a great game, but it's a bit elitist, No. I don't know if elitist, but... You have to take a Harvard degree to understand the skill tree. Yeah. I don't know, maybe elitist is, is way more negative than I think it is. I'm not seeing that word as super negative. I'm seeing it as... There are a lot of people that know better than well, you. Well, it carries a connotation that, like, they rub the eliteness in oh, your face kind okay. of thing. I, I think. Yeah, no, no, that's not what I'm referring to. I don't think the general player base of any game, well, probably maybe some game, but um, rub it no, in your face. A little bit of a problem here is still, I don't know where there's a hand in. Oh, that's okay, though. So let me come and carry you. I mean, let me come and show you. I'll uh, find one. I'll find one. I'll, I'll take you to one. It, it, it's okay. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. It's no, okay. No. I'm, I'm, let, let, me, let me help you, Ito. It's fine. My shoulders, you know, the snow shoveling wasn't enough. That's why I'm here bolting with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Surely you didn't hide them all. <laughs> I haven't hid any of them. Oh, we only got a minute, Ito. Yeah, I'm in a little bit of a panic here because I've gone through many rooms without finding one now. I should probably. Oh, I found one. I got one. I got one. I should start looking for one then. Never seen it as that difficult, though. Yeah, I struggle with that for some reason because I don't really pay attention to it until I need it, and then it's too late. They're in. I think the spawn rate of them is seventy-five percent, but I assume you don't look up, down. Like when you go for one, you just go for the center ones, right? I'll usually do a, a quick fly up and then check mid, and sometimes I'll look down a little bit as I fly right. downward. Are you good? You got one. I got one too. Yep. Yep. Are, you, are we exiting? Are we keywing? Oh, actually, can you kiwi? I just found a PY yep, yep. I want to do. Oh, I found my treasure door! Hold oh, on. okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Hold All on, right, I'm I'm gonna need, I need some food eating. Just get oh, killed. Oh, max kiwi. Oh, shoot. I didn't get all the vault dwellers as well. Okay, max, max kiwi me. I'm yeah, opening yeah. the door. Here we go. Screenshot for thumbnail. Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, I found a dungeon right at the end. I can keep with you, too. <laughs> I don't have the health for it now. This is uh, not the best treasure door room I've ever seen. Oh, oh, okay. I got all my rolls on the mode of sanctity. Do I need to keep with you, though? Uh, you might want to do one. I'll do a kind few of, here. Kind of fighting some mobs here. Yep. 
the area is not the clear. Okay, I'm good now. I think. Okay. I got a couple of pogs in the treasure sand, I think. I think I also got a lost nice. bounty. No, I got an old note. Oh. Ah. Yeah, this treasure room was not the greatest. It wasn't terrible because I got three of uh, three of these. Mult of Sand City. That's what took up all the rarity. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh oh, don't die though. You, you <laughs> can, can you, go out. Uh, you can, can you go do out. a couple kiwis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kiwing. I'm kiwing. I'm I'm completely safe. I'm chilling. These mobs just keep coming out of nowhere. You know how I don't kill mobs? Well, they're all coming <laughs> after me now. <laughs> yes. Pass what? I don't have enough... Uh, oh, I was looking at yours. No! What are you missing? The shards. I don't have the shards. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, how did I miscount that again? Where, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm heading to the, the entrance. You're heading to the I entrance? I am super low on health now, too. Yeah, I'm pretty low, too. But I'm, I'm coming back. What's the one in the start room? Because I, I got them for you. Uh, I'm actually going to eat an orange. I just ate a lemon. But yeah, if you okay. want to eat an orange. But I'm at three hearts. This is very dangerous now. Yep. I'm coming back. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Are you okay? Are you finding your way there? I'm fine as long as no mobs show up. As long as you don't fly into anything. We got a minute, 14 seconds. We got two and a half hearts. Here's a here's a thing. Ooh. There's a hand in right by me. So I'm heading north. Yep. Me too. I'm on the main. Okay, line. I'm at the portal. There's a there's a hand in right at the. Well, I'm not first at the room. Ma I'm not at the main line. Okay, don't spawn any mobs then. Uh, can you ping that room? Okay, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. I'm a couple of rooms away. Yes, yeah, I need saving. I'm I need here. two of them. Yeah, I got you. Dude, how did I how did I miscount that again? I looked at yours and you had like three, I think, and I thought I needed three. <laughs> That's okay, Ethan. I, I I got you. I got you. It's fine. <sighs> I mean it's okay. It's okay. I don't think we should shame people for for being on my shoulders like i think that's okay i think it's a nice <laughs> oh thing. he loves it he just loves <laughs> oh, it oh no oh no no me no i do it just for you as I, I actually i had him i just want <laughs> you just wanted me to feel good <laughs> <laughs> oh ggs okay i had a respectable amount of chests at least in that vault i don't have to be ashamed oh you chemistry. out xp'd me too well, you got the penalty, though. Or or in the core one, maybe? Even still. The treasure know. room gave you, gave you yeah. a good amount. I got the treasure chest. Woo! Cool. Well, that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Why do these vaults always turn into great fun at the end? Oh, I forgot about this. I got the bonus catalysts in the treasure room. Bonus? The... Oh, yeah, like the... The one that adds, you know, these. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you oh, should get like two or three of them, right? Yeah, I got three. Yeah. But I, I think all my rarity was taken up by um, the mode of Science City. Because they are they are in that super rare pool where you can find trinkets and stuff. And I got three of them. Nice. Pretty crazy. Did I get any gear? I got a lot of jewels again. I was here for gear, so I gotta identify it at least, Ethel, before I go. Oh, I got Axe 9! Oh, Yay! Gotta... Omega. Omega Axe! I love Axes. Did I you say... You love Axes. Did I say that? Yeah. Oh, it's so good, though. It's actually so good. Well, the attack speed could have been better on the base. Max roll. Mm -hmm. Low attack speed, though. The lucky hit, though. Oh, yeah, it's got lucky hit. It's got attack speed bonus. Arthropods. Know. I don't want to become an uh, uh, an axe skull. I'm rolling it, Ethel. Just real quick, just using the RNG a little bit, you know. And I have told. What's the game, that one move a lot of games have that you know, like where you do the spin attack? Uh, yeah. What if, what if the axe unlocked a spin attack? 
That would make everyone sick, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work in first person, does it? Also, it would be inconsistent to how items work. Like, no items unlock anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a problem though. I don't have like good rolls for my level on the modifier on like the build, the thing you build, the modifier workbench. So I have to do more dungeons, basically. Yeah, those are hard to get. It's a collector uh, thing. It's like a long term collecting thing. Are you looking for a specific one or just in general? No, in general. I mean, it would be good to get attack damage. It would be good to get lucky hit rolls. Like things that I use, right? Yeah, I found the chaining one, but I don't really use chaining. Yeah, chaining is, uh, I think, <laughs> I think chaining is underused by, by the people who who would like on chain. I don't know what I was going there. Scrap that. Whatever. I don't know what I was gonna say at all. I just completely. You said something and then you canceled it, and then uh, yeah. Yeah, I canceled it the same moment I started talking about it as well. Uh, another, ooh. Oh, I like the implicits here. That's not bad. Mana? A low mana roll, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I'm at the state, Ito, where, like, I will, I will take whatever. <laughs> You're looking for anything at this point? I'm looking for anything at this point. Oh, that's a pretty good jewel. Am I keeping you, by the way? If so, then just no, tell no. me. No, no. I'm chilling. You gotta come by Shop Etho and get, buy all my handy-downs. Have you opened a shop? No. <laughs> I was oh. thinking about doing that for the Omega gear, though. Oh, you definitely should. I mean, that would be so I've, helpful. I've got so much of that that people could use, probably. Yeah, do a blacksmith. Black, blacksmith slab. I got a lot of level 65 stuff, actually. Yeah, you were you plundered a lot to level 65. Mm hmm Oh okay. I I okay. I did get some very good jewels in that treasure room. That is a Yeah, that is a good chest plate. You don't like health though, right? Uh it's not that I dislike health, I just think that it's uh it's not as good as people make it out to be. Like it's math, really. It's sure nice for dungeons, though, I gotta say. But it's, like... It's just a pool. It's like... It's like... It's like... You choose between having more time to die... Or no, you choose to have more heart canisters or take less heart canisters removed when you get hit. Right, to me, it's the same thing. So it's not that I dislike it. It's like, well... I, I, I don't care if it's resistance or health. Because it's one of mm -hmm. them. They they achieve the same thing. It's just a the rest is just a placebo feeling. Right. Unless unless you're doing a life leech you build. You can get all three though. Yes, but then you don't have any slots for mana or or like skill points and stuff like that. True. Yeah. Like Do you uh, roll for skill points usually? No, but it, it helps. Like on these leggings, I wouldn't I wouldn't change skill the dash for health. Like, that, to me, is not worth it. Yeah, dash is great to have, right? Yeah. I, I think it's a more... It's more of a... Um, um, what should I call it? it it's, a, it's a psychological thing to have a lot of hearts. But it's not that I dislike it. It's a good stat, for sure. Uh, if you do a life leech build, though, Etho, like, no one does a life leech build yet. But if you do a life leech build, then... Yeah, for sure. I mean, health is really important because life leech in this game scales with max health. Like if you do a vampire build. Mm hmm. Is there life leech or is it? Is it? Does it just add to the player? Does it take away from the mob? <clears throat> I mean, no. You do damage as you, as you heal. Oh, as you attack, right? Yeah. 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 The skill doesn't take extra though, right? No, no, because it's already an attack that would just be a double-edged sword. That's a cool idea, a double-edged sword. 
But I think that you uh, spin around to use. That you spin around. You want the spin attack. But yeah, I think you're right though. <laughs> People are gonna be F fiving that stuff. Like they're gonna be like, no. I don't wanna get nauseous today. Just look away from the screen when they use it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and then we, everything's just dead when when you're done. And we as content creators can never use it either because it's like yeah. <laughs> drinking a nausea potion in Minecraft. Not the greatest.